Hey folks, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering with Tech. This tip today, I'm going to talk about using Epic Pen along with your Stream Deck and how to program the buttons for it. Check this out. So let's go ahead and take a look at Epic Pen alongside a Stream Deck. Epic Pen is right here, and you can kind of see it puts a border around the area of Epic Pen. I'm not real sure why it does it. Maybe it's so you can find it or something, because you can't go over here and find it. I'm clicking there. I have to be on the top of the icon to move it, and it's kind of odd when you first get to it, but once you have it, it's fine. So over on this side, you can see the Stream Deck. I have the Stream Deck icon right in the middle. So if I click on that, you can see it's streamdeck.exe. You would have to find your file, and that's how I open it, so I can bring this that you see on screen right here. I changed over to a less busy screen, so you can see I have some open buttons where I can add these Epic Pen shortcuts. So what is Epic Pen? Epic Pen gives you the ability to put an arrow on screen. So if I wanted to click on this arrow, and I wanted to put an arrow pointing to that, I can do this right on screen. The thing is, is once Epic Pen is on, it's on. You, you don't turn it off. The only way to go back is to hit the cursor. And one thing I like to do is trash everything before I do that, clear screen. So if you can have your buttons on a stream deck where you can just hit those so I don't have to come over here, find the app and do all this. If I wanted to put a square around something, I wanna put this and square that off. If I wanna put a circle, I can circle around, let's say this icon up here so you can kinda of see what I'm talking about. And if you notice all these, whenever I hover over these, a lot of times it'll give you exactly Control Shift I, Control Shift A, you can see that on screen. There's control shift five is for the eraser to erase stuff. This is for trash, throw everything in the trash, which clears your screen is control shift seven. The other one to come back to the cursor, cause you might want to, let's say I, I don't necessarily want to show you, but it's still in drawing mode. So you might hit that by accident. You want to get back to the cursor. So this is a good one to have control shift two. So let's learn how to add these to the stream deck. The first thing I want to create is a hotkey. So we're going to look over here and look at hotkey. I want to pull this in and I want to set up a hotkey. So the first thing I do is I go to, you can see this kind of weird robot looking thing. I'm going to hit the, there's a down arrow there. I'm going to click on this down arrow. When I click on that, I get a couple options. We're going to go set from file. I'm not going to go into detail about Epic Pen, but we're just going to show you how to set this up quickly. Then I'm going to go find the icon I want. This is perfect. It's got a cursor arrow. It's exactly what I want. So I'm going to hover over on Epic Pen, the arrow. It says Control Shift 2. So what I need to do is I need to click here to click Assign, and then Control Shift 2 on my keyboard. Once I do that, I don't want this text over it because I like the icon better. So what I do is I just take that out of there. If you wanted to, you can leave the text, and I'll show you on the next one when I create it. Next, we want to add another hotkey and we're going to make it a trash can so we can trash everything if we want to erase everything on screen. So again, do you remember where it is? If I go over to the robot looking thing over here and I hit the down arrow, hit set from file, I'm going to choose. Since it is trash, I'm going to go ahead and get a little trash can. How cute, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to hover over this. I have control shift seven. So I'm going to do the same thing, click to assign and then do my control shift seven. And again, I don't need the text, but I was going to show you so you can see if you did want to keep the text, you can always move the text to the bottom, the top, the middle, and I can change the size. I can make it really small, really big, and you can kind of see it going away in the background. You can change a lot of things about it, but that's not, we're not here to talk about Epic Pen. One last hotkey just to show you that we can draw as well. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go here. I'm gonna go find a circle. So to assign, I need to find out where the circle is. Well, you don't see the circle, right? It's right here with the lines. And then you can come over to the circle and hover over it and it's Control Shift E. So I'm gonna do the same process, Control Shift E. And now it has that command as that. Again, I'm gonna remove the text because I just need the circle. That's all I care about and 
I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and try and draw a couple circles. So I'm going to take my stream deck, click on the circle to start drawing a circle. Boom, I can draw a circle. Oops, I didn't do it in the right place. Let me trash those. Hit the trash can over here. You can kind of see me hitting that. And you get used to where your fingers are. You could actually place your three fingers right there if you remember where everything is. So let me just circle a couple things just so you can kind of see. I want to circle this, circle this, and then I can circle over here that. Now I want to get back to a cursor because I actually want to, or so I have to erase first, then click on the cursor. You'll see me hit this finger. That puts me back in cursor mode so I can move this. Instead of drawing on screen, I want to be able to move that and create a new hotkey. So let's watch that again. I'm going to circle hotkey and then I want to, I can even leave it hotkey. I can leave that red on if I want to. And then I'm just going to go over to the cursor, hit the arrow, change it back to a cursor. So now this will come over here and it kind of, you can leave that so people can see that I'm going from hotkey to there. Now I can erase everything. Now let's delete this real quick, this icon. Now let's watch again. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle around hotkey, which is cool, but I'm also going to put a circle around this where I want it to go. So now when I hit the cursor, I'm going to hit the cursor to change it so I can move or edit or be able to move stuff on screen. So I'm going to take that hotkey, put it there, and you can see from step to step where I'm going. So this is great for demoing people live and online. If learning Epic Pen and Stream Deck together helped you, do me a favor, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more stuff just like this. And then that way you'll get updates and also new videos that come out. Thank you very much. If you look down at the bottom here, you'll see a super thanks. Let me grab that. There you go. You'll see that super thanks. Click on it. You'll get this icon. And do me a favor and support the channel.